So what we've got here is we've a neurologically deceased toad. So we've rendered it unconscious and then we've scrambled its brain. So we're basically, it's neurologically dead. It feels no pain. It is dead. It'll never come back to life. But the beauty with toads is their hearts will continue to beat. So we now have a, a toad that feels no pain, that has a beating heart. And what we can do is add venom to that to try and find out what the venom actually does to the heart and what the best way would be to treat somebody. So we've got him hooked up to an ECG, so we're measuring his heart rate and the, what his hearts are doing, or what his heart's doing. What we will do, remembering that the toad can't feel any pain, is we'll open him up and open up the cavity to his heart and you'll be able to see his heart pumping away. And this is quite a substantially larger than normal toad. So he should have quite a large heart. He's got a very big liver, but there is his heart. And you can see it pumping away quite nicely. Now you'll notice that when it relaxes, which is now, pump, relax, pump, relax, pump. As it pumps, it goes white because it's forcing all the blood out of the heart around the rest of the body. So, that's happy there. If we now take some box jellyfish venom, and you can see now beautifully the heart is bouncing away. So we're getting beat, 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 beat. So it's probably 60, 70 beats a second, a minute, sorry. And you can see the heart pumping quite nicely there. So if we inject, venom into that heart and watch what happens immediately the heart starts to change and you can see by and large the heart no longer is relaxing as much as it was and it's starting to go white and you can see now that heart has stopped and you can see where we've injected the venom and the heart is going white. You can see it mo moving beautifully down the heart there. So what's happened is that heart's contracting and it's not relaxing and it's continuing to con contract. Up on the screen, there's no heart rate at all. And that heart now is completely white and completely rigid. So what's happened there is, and this is how this venom works. It basically opens what's referred to as calcium ion channels in the heart, makes the muscles contract and they don't release. So what you have a heart doing that, and if the heart doesn't release, you can't pump blood through the body. If you can't pump blood through your body, basically the animal dies. And that all happened literally within seconds. So it's absolutely no wonder why box jellyfish are the most venomous animals on the planet. They kill people in under two minutes. And that's what you've got to deal with. So what we have here is some of my blood and what we're going to do is add some brown snake venom to it and see what happens. And there it goes. And you see it's now turned into a jelly. So where's the other one? So that's the brown snake venom. And it's basically just turned into a big clot versus this one, which is still quite liquid. Even better, if we take the lid off it, keeping in mind that's the brown snake and that's normal blood. This is the brown snake and there you have it. That's what happens when you get bitten by a brown snake. So that's the normal blood, you can see not much happens. 
If I drag that through that, look at that. Now, can you imagine that clot running through your body and getting stuck in something like your lung or your heart or your brain? So venoms are truly fascinating. They work in so many different ways. But if they're so effective, why aren't more animals venomous? That's the nature of science.